Hello, this is Max. And I'm Anthony. And we're from Papillon Effect. Now, happy birthday, Max. Yes, happy birthday. I, I appreciate it. You were, um... It's not your birthday. Don't lie to people. <laughs> well, fuck you, dude. I thought you were saying happy birthday because he's looking at... Well, anyways, we're playing Town of Salem, but Anthony's fucking... He's looking at food porn. He's looking at cakes, and that's why you're... Just, about... It's not just cakes. There's bacon. There's a banana. I th- think that... Oh, that... That's a, uh, a Grand's. You, you know, you know those uh, tubes of uh, the Pillsbury? They fucking pop open? The biscuits? Yeah, it's popped open and it's leaking out and it looks like testicles. That's fantastic. It's my those, favorite those, picture. Uh, and my computer background. I always liked... Okay, I'll make sure I try not to tell you who the fuck I am this time. Oh, and the reason why almost all of them are 7% because there's classes that are we're not always playing. Mm-hmm. So like we get usually the same ones, but there's other ones like like Vampire Killer and stuff like that that we don't. Um, you might get, but you probably won't get. Oh, so there's more. Like there's like some like special rules. Yeah, there's like like I was t- talking about teleporter, where a teleporter in classic like barely shows up. I like that skin that looks like a scorpion. I like it too, except for it doesn't look like scorpion because it's red, so it looks like uh. Ermac. Nobody. Ermac. Yeah, the, whatever the robot is. Ermac. No, that doesn't sound right. No, Ermac. No, yeah, Ermac's red. He's the he's the robot one, but when when he's not robot yet. Okay. I have no idea. I'm just fucking with you. Whatever, fucker. Eleven comes out this month. I think the twenty sixth, I think. I remember watching Mortal Kombat the movie when I was younger. Like and there was a, there was a really sex bad. scene in it, or like you know a provocative scene in it. And whenever like my dad was watching it, and I like left the room before it happened, just because my dad was always one to like make things super uncomfortable. <laughs> Mortal Kombat does it have a sex scene in the first one? I don't know if it was the first one or not. I know I just knew there was a provocative kind of scene, and my dad was gonna start being like, "Oh, look at the boobs, Anthony! Look at the boobs!" And I'm just like. At least, no. at least, at least he like was like, "Oh, look at them!" Like my mom would. Yeah, to... but when I was nine, like <laughs> he was a good man. He knew what was up. He was a good man, but he's dead now. He is. I mean, I I am sad, but I will joke about it all day. Right. Well, it's like your dad was one of the few people that like. What was it when I started smoking? Like almost everyone was like, "Oh, you smoke!" Like fucking Mike was like. Oh, you smoke? That's that's disgusting, or something like that. Your dad was like, "Oh, hey, cool." <laughs> it's like, like he didn't give a fuck. That's because he just wanted a friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would sit on the porch smoking that one when I was I was living over there for like or on and off for like a week or whatever. Uh huh. Oh man. Or I'd stay over because it's like I I stay there and I stay at Alex's. That kind of shit. Uh huh. I left a bunch of food in your freezer. I remember that. I probably ate it. I'm sure you did. It was microwavable stuff. No, oh, yeah, I fucking ate it. If it was microwavable, I ate it. Yeah, my dad just wanted to give like pot to everyone. Yeah, he tried. He only tried to sell it to me once. That was after I stopped smoking it. So. <laughs> uh. I don't mind pot. Like I don't, I don't smoke it, and I never have. But I don't care if people do. Right. But I'm more of like a, you know, use it for a, a purpose. Like a. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, because like, because Ermac's gonna get roasted right now. Yeah, he's gonna. Oh, get I, I, I I hope he has the fire, um, death animation. So it's no, like he it's doesn't. Like... You know, he's gonna get a sleigh dropped on him. <laughs> the Santa killer. Yeah, probably. Let's take bets now. Everybody <laughs> in the comments vote uh, either Anthony's right or Max is gay. They're, well, they're all going to vote Max is gay. Yes. Because that, 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 if that's an option, that's what that's, that, that's what's going to be. Means, and that means no matter what, I win. Yeah, basically. Somebody says, fuck you, Max. Oh, I thought they were talking to me. I was like, how do they know what we're talking about? <laughs> so what the fuck, dude? <laughs> What did I name myself? You Finny? Unless, oh, unless, he's got... He, unless, he's gonna be lit on fire. Unless you change... Oh, oh is look, he? his cat is oh, crying. Oh, shit, I was right. Yeah, his, like cat, his, <laughs> his cat cries. 
Oh, uh, right. you know he's just gonna come back. Oh wait, no, he's a robot. He ain't gonna come back. Well, now he comes back as a robot. Because uh, yeah, because Ermac got changed into a robot. Oh shit, he's the God. But damn, that guy, we got him fast. Second death yeah. was the Godfather. Yeah, I've done nothing so far. Which I'm sure you haven't. I'm gonna investigate. You mean? Uh, Actually, I'm gonna investigate this 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 asshole. Uh. Yeah, I my I always liked when you guys <laughs> said my dad looked like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I always used to say that. And I'm just like, just because he smokes pot doesn't mean he looks like Snoop Dogg, and then everyone's like, <laughs> hey, there's a Snoop Dogg. Smoke weed every day. I remember you used to say um, when we were kids, you're like, used to say, we used to say like, oh, your dad's an alien because it says that on his ID, and you're like, that means he's from another country. We're like, no, that means he's from space. <laughs> he could have been from space. He was in space. Uh, hello, bye. <clears throat> that's a, that's helpful. Yeah. Oh, frame. Uh, okay, so two mafia down. We're on a good, doing pretty well. We might win this one quick. We might. It's a possibility. Let's see here. Stinky PB and Stinky PB. Milk the dock. Okay. How did, how did they die? I don't know. <laughs> I think it said they left. I don't remember. She apparently committed suicide. Floated. Hmm. I don't like when people just fucking leave. Oh yeah, Look, yeah. people who play Lookout usually leave because they're like, it's a boring. They're bored. Yeah, it's a boring, boring class to play. The Lookout hang themselves. Yeah, no, my my dad was entertaining, and he always uh, he always loved having like the friends over. Like it didn't even matter. I could be like, hey, you know, Max is gonna come stay the night, and he'd just be like, what's you want for dinner? And I'm like. I don't fucking know. You probably want some shrimp ramen. You got some fucking shrimp ramen? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it was back then. Like, I always bring up the time where you, like, it was, like, 6 o'clock, dude. And, like, okay, you you had to have gotten to my house at 4. Because I got off the bus. And then you got off at your stop, but then, like, came over. And so I was just in the computer room playing. And it was, like, 6 o'clock. And I come out and mom bought KFC. And you're just eating fried chicken on the couch. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you didn't even come say hi nothing. You just start eating and watching the TV. Well, what do you, what do you want? I mean, <laughs> I, fucking, I come all the way you, over to your house. Dude, you were there for, like, two fucking, two fucking yeah. hours. You didn't even say hi yet. I was hanging out the whole time. I was just, there. You just started to, you in the other room just chilling. Ain't no I thing. I thought that was the plan. Like, you want to come hang out? And then... <laughs> yeah. I came and hung out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for zero. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but my not... dad was always like doing uncomfortable shit. Like, you know, we'd see a girl walking down the street and be like, "Oh, she's probably 17, but she's hot." Like, <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you do this to me? Uh. But overall, yeah, great dad. He's a good dude. There was something I was gonna bring up. I forgot. Oh, oh I died. Did you? I did. Oh shit. Oh, you were John Willard. I, I saw. Uh, what? I saw Finney with the pants, the green pants, but I didn't realize there, there was another one. <laughs> Hard schlong is clean. Hello, bye. Well, no, my I think my favorite moment is when uh, you showed up to school with a video, and you're like, "Dude, you gotta watch this video," and it's you videotaping like. Following your dog's shit trail around. <laughs> yeah, with Apollo, he shit like, every he shit everywhere, even on Jake's favorite sweatshirt. 
Yeah, he just had like running diarrhea and just went all over the house shitting. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was great. Mom still has those somewhere. I wonder if we can t- get them off the Palm Pilot because it doesn't have like a USB connect or anything. It was like at that weird time period where, uh, like you couldn't like it just kind of had its own data on itself. Uh huh. I love that Palm Pilot. We used to bring that around all the time and do dumb shit with it, record stuff on it. There's the one that Ian Ian when we taped Ian to the wall. Uh, is on that Palm Pilot. You know, okay, so this 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 motherfucker here, Max, let me believe for uh, what ten ten plus years that I broke his lightsaber when it was already <laughs> broken. I, I I grabbed it off the bed and I like hit it against the bed and it broke and he was just like, dude, you broke my lightsaber. And, like, for ten plus years, you let me believe that I fucking broke it when it was already broken before. Oh, yeah. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, sorry, I was was talking for the chat. No, yeah, so, I I don't remember how I busted. It just, it broke somehow. Um, Hold on, let's see here. I'm probably gonna get killed tonight. You died already, didn't you? Oh yeah, I'm dead. Okay, hold on. Let me just put this last will in. Okay, okay, okay. Let me close that. All right, no. So I I, I busted my Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Um uh like like i don't I don't know how i did it or whatever but it got cut off and like so i had it just like sitting out and like anthony cut, came, came over and he just grabs the lightsaber and slams it against the bed and like breaks off the end of it and like goes flying all over i was like dude what the fuck dude he's like oh my god i'm so sorry and this was like i think we were in middle school dude and like uh-huh. I, I didn't tell you until we were in like our mid-20s or something like that or no early 20s by the time I was like, oh yeah, by the way, it was already broken. I just let you, you know, what the fuck? <laughs> should, should we tell the, should we tell like the back house story at your grandma's place? Oh, oh, I got to add on to that story about like the future of it. Um, there's a future? There's a part two? There's a part two of like, just recently, that place is falling down. Ridiculous. So, or go ahead, you tell the first part. I'll tell part one. So, I go over to Max's grandma's house and it's a house that's been put in front of their old house that you know they're just like fuck it we'll just we'll drop another house down on the land and let this other house fall apart um and there's like rabbit cages inside the house that are just like filled with shit and i think like 12 (laughs) dogs lived on the back porch yeah and uh like the walls were like caving in or like falling in like the house was basically like being pushed down by gravity and folding in on itself. And it still had like remnants of them living in there. I don't know how all of your uncle's like stuff was still in that house or why it was still in that house. Like maybe he just didn't have room for it, but like all of his cool star Wars stuff that was like really collectible. Oh, why just leave it out there? Um, so anyway, Max has what were they your nephews? I'm guessing they were your nephews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like the some kind of family members were over, younger family members. And we created this convoluted story about how the back house was haunted and how there was like dead I, soldiers from the war. I think like, that might have been Justin. Cuz he remembers the story of like, "Oh, when you, you and your friends scared me." And like he he tells about it like it was like really like traumatizing to him for years oh dude i bet it was <laughs> well he's a piece of shit no like that, that i've got stories about justin brianna whenever she's on the channel um i i, I got we're gonna have stories about Justin. that guy i tried to help for like two years get a gd and all kinds of stuff yeah uh, anyway so we tell max's aunt to be like hey tell him this story or whatever oh and yeah me and max me and max go hide in the house and so I'm hiding behind the couch and I, I hear them come up to the house and I hear her kind of like telling the story that we convoluted. 
And as soon as they open the door, I start making like some moaning sounds and like, like I start like throwing a few items and Max is in the other room doing some stuff, making some noise and the kids are freaking out a little bit. And then all of a sudden Max jumps out of his uncle's room with a Darth Vader, like, I don't know if you had a mask on or just sound going. But I, think, like, I, th- I had like the, the, the sound reverberator and it was my, my grandma's room and I jumped right. out and I was like, I think I said, insert your memory stick now. <laughs> like, and you had like a meat cleaver. Like, <laughs> did I? <laughs> you had some kind of weapon. Like, <laughs> I don't you, were wield, you were wielding something. I don't and, remember. Yeah, it scared the shit out of Yeah, that was Justin. He tells, and it, and it's, it scared the shit out of the kids where they just went running off. But it also scared the shit out of you because you shit yourself. <laughs> Did I? I think I tried to fart and I shit this myself. Is, you you might have, you may not have, but I remember this specifically. I'm hiding behind the couch. You jump out. The kids freak out, and you go, "Oh, oh God!" And you're grabbing your ass, and you're like, "I think I shit myself, dude." You go run it off, and I'm just like, "Yeah, I laughing do. my ass off, dude." I do that t- t- today. <laughs> I like. Okay, so I do that a lot. Like today, actually, I farted while using the urinal, and I, and I, I, I almost dusted my underwear. Like I'll, I'll usually catch it with my cheeks. You know how you do, but like on multiple occasions, fucking um, that's just that. Like I think what was it when I visited last? You made a comment about that. I farted in Travis's face, and then like yeah, yeah, you yeah, might I, have, yeah, yeah, and I and I sharded my underwear, and I, Dylan had to go bring me a fresh pair. And you were like, I don't think I've, I can count how many times I think Max has farted on somebody and then ran to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's what I did was I jumped out. Because I didn't know he was going to freak the fuck out and run away. Apparently Justin was like, oh, that was so scary. I was like, first of all, Justin was like 13 at the time. Like, suck it the fuck up. Second of all, like, or no, maybe he was he younger. I swear they were younger, like nine. Okay, maybe it was. I don't know. Either way, he's like, he talks about it like it was, it was a... I mean, he deserved it. He was like, I, I'd be like, he was the kind of kid that like, when I'd be taking a nap or something, he'd come up and he'd like grab like a squirt gun and like hit me in the face with it while I'm sleeping. And like, oh, totally deserved it. He yeah. deserved uh, years of trauma then. No, like this is before <laughs> that. And besides, it was just jumping out and scaring him. He's just overreacting, I think. Um, uh, his family right, has so he... done way worse. Oh, well, that's <clears throat> that's, him. that's great. Yeah, no. Do you have a part two? Do you have like? Oh yeah, so the fucking part two. So the, um, this is my my grandpa died uh, four years ago, I think. Mm-hmm. And so the, like all the family that like moved away came back for like a little bit just so that we were all together. Um, are the, is the town gonna figure it out? Are they gonna figure out who's who? Because there's I don't got there, time there, for the town. There, I want to hear about. Hold on, hold on. There's one mafia, and then there's. Uh, once then the serial killer is still alive, so they got to figure who the fuck out. Oh well, whatever. Um, fucking Lisa's the serial killer, by the way. I, I figured that out if, if, you, if you're paying attention to the game. Um, fucking so. Uh, no, so everyone comes to come visit, and like me and Justin. And speaking of, of me and Justin go in there, um, because like they're like, oh, we're gonna clean out anything that has a value and that kind of thing, and like my uncle Danny wouldn't let his younger daughters i say younger but they're like like 19 18 that kind of thing it's like mm-hmm. like you can't go in there it's too dangerous but me and justin go in there because we're fucking idiots and like, right and like this is when i'm trying to help him get his ged and stuff he never ended up doing it like he he went off he went to be a homeless like in california then he ended up coming back like he, he would get like high and drunk every day like not mm-hmm. like that's what i mean like yeah we scared him once when he was a fucking kid but like you know like whatever like he's 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 got a lot, lot more chances to be a better person but he never took them mm-hmm. um that that's ta- that story's for another time when, when, I, when i'm talking with brianna so anyways we go in there and like we go to like towards the back kitchen and the floor fucking collapses like justin's behind me i i fall through like legs like the through the foundation so i'm like standing and so like the floor is right about where my crotch is and i was mm-hmm. like nope 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 jump out of the hole and we just run out and it's like <laughs> Like, my Uncle Danny went in there, and, like, I don't even know. Like, shit, apparently more shit broke down. I didn't think to ask. I was just like, yes. Like, I made a, I made a joke. I was like, yeah, some asshole broke the floor in the kitchen. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I was like, I don't, know, I don't know who did that. I guess it's better than falling through a trampoline. <laughs> well, that's true. That's the story. Did we tell that one on? No, we didn't. We, did, we didn't tell that story the first episode. Um, that's one. This round's about to end. So, 
We can we can start. We can always save it for another time. Oh shit, Jester! That's great. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, we can save it for another episode. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that. So like, so serial killer Jester gets hung. So serial killer is alive. Mafia is alive. So it's oh shit. Jester might decide who's it's down. Like so, whoever Jester kills tonight. Well, the, the jester. Oh, the jester can kill somebody. Yeah, if the jester gets hung, then they can kill somebody. So, as well as that, serial killer is going to try and kill somebody. Mafia is going to try and kill somebody. All three could die. It could be a tie. Ooh. That'd be a great round, dude. So Lisa is the serial killer. Uh, Samuel is mafia, I think, because I investigated him. There's usually three, right? No, but if you look in the, the graveyard on the top left, two of the mafia are dead. So there's three mafia. Uh-huh. So one's townsfolk, one's mafia, and one's serial killer. Oh, oh serial killer one. Damn, good game. How did Finny die? Was, you stabbed. stabbed. I and then Samuel Seawall was killed by the jester. I think I think Lisa was whispering with Sheikah. This is a hard risk. Oh no, Finney was another jester, huh? Two oh, the, oh, huh? So the, yeah. So the guy went, yeah, that's one of those ones too that you can be multiples of. Two, there's a lot of times there's two mediums and a lot of times there's two jesters randomly. Game of, oh, so he wasn't even townsfolk, so so that guy's mafia. This guy has to be mafia. Yeah, Godfather. So serial killer wins. We've had two serial killer wins since I've been playing with you, Anthony, which rarely fucking happen. Ridiculous. What can, I, what can I say? It's probably my fault. Yeah, exactly. It's probably your fault. Yeah, it makes sense. Anyways, so uh, I'll end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Yes, thank, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, remember, sometimes when you dig through an uh, old couch on the side of the road, there might be a dead dog inside. Uh, wonderful.